top 25 doubleheader between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Bears of Baylor. The Lady Bulls checking in this preseason poll at number two in the nation, showing off why with a late comeback in game number one here at Ketterman Stadium. Lincoln Rose along with Kelly Levesque and Kelly. Again, the wait was worth it in some kind of either of these two teams. Well, I'll tell you, some of the best meteorologists are probably your baseball and softball coaches, <laughs> especially with the, uh, the addition of so many different weather apps. You start to learn. And a run scored back in the sixth inning of game one that cut the deficit in half at the time. As the throw down, not in time. Punch that this team right here brings. And Malloy is going to take third, and obstruction will give her home. Walk for Kiki Malloy, a couple of stolen bases. And Riley West, the two hole hitter, witnesses Malloy advance all the way around the bases on her own. Not a, a terrible throw, but it almost looks like Cuyazos takes her eye off of it and it pops off the top of her glove. Payoff pitch to Riley West. All of a sudden, with no teammate on the base pass, she'll grab a walk. Leads 1-0 here in the top of the first. This one should be playable in foul territory. The question is by whom? And Pylon able to make the catch for Baylor, the second baseman. One away. We're promptly in bed and ready to go for today. The one-two. Nugent sits back on it. Chance for a double play for Baylor. Tobin to Govin. But Baylor had the winning run in the in form of a pinch runner on base as well. Wilson shot up the middle. Destiny Rodriguez, again your hero in game one, gets to flash the leather at second base here in game two. Flipping with Koyasos. Will bat fifth. That's a one-out walk for Hawk. Word got out to that other number, the 11 <laughs> home runs that she had last year to lead the team. Sitting on a two-strike count. And Orsini, big part of that in the circle. Ball's going to get away, and it hits Benford. So Hawk will trot down to second. Benford will join her with two on and two out. See if they can score at least one. Orsini, the 2-1, shot back up the middle. Malloy cannot get under it. Time run will come home. Well, not much Malloy could have done there. Kelly Hunt with two outs. Will traverse the final 120 feet. I mean, definitely made the effort to try and get down, but made a very risky play on, on trying to dive for that ball with it in front of her. Yeah. Easily that ball could bounce, take that bounce on that turf and head over and you're looking at both runs scoring. Strain occupies that spot tonight. Over the right side and a chance to get that elusive third and final out. McKenna Gibson scoops it up and taps on the bag, but not before. Sydney Collazo's game tying RBI single brings home Emily Hunt. Top of the second, Baylor has erased the lead that Tennessee claimed as the Lady Vols go back to work, trying to bunt for the base hit. But against UT Arlington. Slow roller, left side, Tobin. Good communication between Tobin and again, the third different third baseman she's played next to today. <laughs> That is the one spot between. 0 for 3 with a pop out, ground out, and strike out against the two Baylor pitchers. Well, deja vu. Three up, three down as Casey West gets settled in for the perfect second inning. Lost at the very end. This is Abby Flores, the sophomore at the plate, batting out of the seven hole, your catcher in this ball game. And Abby comes through with her first collegiate hit as a Baylor Bear. Setting the table here in the second inning. As he looking at turn two, they will not get Tobin, but Flores retired on the force out. Well done by McKenna Gibson again. And 
And a, a delayed steal in there in time. So Tobin. Tough chopper up the middle. Everybody's going to be safe on the corners. An infield single for Taylor Strain. That moves Tobin down to third. Gets the bunt down. Orsini's only play is at the plate, and it's right on target. Into the glove of Katsoyanopoulos. He was able to make the tag with ease. A second. But still, just right back to the pitcher, giving just enough time to get that play at home. If that goes a little bit further down first base or even down third base line, you can't make that play. Those corners are so low rise too, but that's her go-to. So that's a, that's a change of mindset here with the new pitcher. Gottschall comes in and slams the door shut. Baylor will strand a pair. After her teammates helped tie up the ball game. And a drop third strike. There's a spot where you like having a lefty catcher. Your lone run scorer in this second game. For Tennessee, waiting for her next chance. Collazo steps in front of Tobin. Second batter was even done with her plate appearance. And with a single swing of the bat, has matched Tennessee history. For a 57th time, Kiki Malloy will touch them all. First pitch, and I don't think the only thing that moved on the on that diamond was the heads of the Baylor players. You knew it off the bat. She just got all of that. The All-American now tied for the top spot in career home runs in Knoxville. You just watch here, every <laughs> speechless. You and I had a whole nother page of nice things to say about <laughs> her and we're gonna have to wait. This could be trouble, back towards the wall, and it carries out. Back to back home runs as now Riley West gets in on the fun. We talked about that right there. I mean, just, you see the speed, you see consistency from a one-two hitter, but man, to be able to go back to back home runs, it wasn't a, a pitch that was necessarily over the plate, but she sat back and got all of that. Hit that ball on a line. And Glenn Moore is going to look to make a change. The 2-2 from Orm to Gibson. Left side, high hop, inning will continue. Base hit for McKenna Gibson. Three straight hits with two outs, and they'll save back in time. A lot of the Baylor players put in their ear. <laughs> and Glenn Moore is going to challenge it. Before our umpires take another look, we'll give you one here. A generous rounding by Gibson, who's being emphatically told by her coach to get back. Obviously, that won't be the decisive angle. Bang, bang. Yeah. Oh, Kiki Malloy. Oh. Well, we saw an angle. Baylor's out of the inning. Wants to get a hold of it. Got her. Built as well as when she's in the circle. That ball, great backhanded stag by the freshman fall across the diamond, not in time, and Benford's going to get an extra 60 feet. Well, from robbing Benford of a base hit to now all of a sudden, didn't have to make the game one start. And they were probably hoping didn't have to come in as early as she has here. That's now three strikeouts against four batters face for back here for game two. They are scheduled to go again tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern. Gotchel got her. Four strikeouts against the first five Baylor Bears. She, she faces Dari Orm, and Nugent's gonna punch this one down the right field line, but into the glove of Taylor Strain. Got the start here for game two out there and right. Already has a base hit in the nine hole and a great out, able to track that one down. 3-2, laid off it. 
And it's a one-out walk for panel. One-out walk here in the fourth. Rodriguez looking to do it again. This one off the wall. Two aboard for Tennessee. With one out. Two in her debut with Tennessee after coming over from Middle Tennessee. Underneath this one, Strain camps out, makes the catch for out number two, and a long throw shows off her arm, and we'll see if that influences decisions later in the game. Perhaps. First two in the third. Looking to add here in the fourth. Everybody's going to advance. They would have anyways on the walk, but nothing beyond that. As not a lot of foul territory it's against Crandall and Benford. By that back, bat has woken up. Dari Orm, unimpressed with resumes and lineage. Yeah, you've really got to hit the white there. She's not really giving the river. Laura's got the bat around on that one. Yeah, she'll be retired for the first down. A fantastic pitch from Orsini. Towering up into the lights and squeezed in on the outfield skirt by fall. On here tonight in this second game. That's going to get down. Nugent gave a look to first, but <laughs> that's not me out there base running. With Mackenzie Wilson here in the fourth for Baylor. Now a hitter. And Taylor Strain, who had a great jump down to second, will not have a chance to go to third with a dead ball. Two on for Baylor, two outs as well. The 0-2 to Hot got her. Gottschall gets the strikeout, her fifth in relief, second time to face with bases loaded. After one run, did score last inning on catcher's interference with bases loaded. The 3-2. And that pitch has not been there for either team tonight. Facing Dari Orm with a runner on. Up the middle, you've got a new middle of the infield with the freshman at short comes through with flying colors. Two two over to Coyazos. McGovin, and after Tennessee got a leadoff walk, it winds up being a three up three down inning. And that'll just get over the outstretched glove of Fall. So Govan has a base hit. Just the second time this game that Baylor has its leadoff batter on. She's been stranded twice today on the base pass. Baylor has left seven. First pitch she sees, Nugent, one away. So again, Baylor has had at least a base runner. And Boyazos towards the gap. It's going to hang up long enough to make the catch. Kiki Malloy gets there. And Wallendorf back to first, having to tag up. And McNeese is not too far from Houston. And you think of the, the caliber of player and the, and the uh, summer ball and travel ball that come from that area, too. There's your third out. Gottschall has settled in. This new battery, reminder uh, with the new year, check your smoke detectors. A little quick hop. That's your dream start. One pitch, one out. Come in there, make it look easy. Yeah, you gotta love it. Come in and say, hey, give me a chance to, to pinch hit and just take it over the fence. It's part one of the deepest parts of the field. Super regional, you know what you've been through. Well, again, kudos to both of these teams for not steering away from a matchup like this. And our understanding is Baylor next year already has some jugger. <laughs> Payoff pitch, ball four. As no ball has been put into play since yesterday in her debut. And her sister Gabby also on the squad and Leach will come through here. 
With bases loaded and one out, everybody advances 60 feet on the RBI single from the freshman Leach. We mentioned Alana and Gabby, sisters three and four from the Leach family to suit up in... Coach Weekly knowing I'm mean, going to give my kid a chance and coming in big. A great swing on that one from Leach. One pitch later, it's Kiki Malloy. And Wilson... Just for good measure, throws a strike home. West, that one out to the wall, off the wall. And it's more production with two outs, the relay home, off the mark. And that's going to allow one more Tennessee run to score. I believe it was already a dead ball that was going to automatically allow for essentially an inside the Parker. Well, and you knew Riley West had the opportunity to bust open that game with just one, one swing of the bat. See Riley run. Wasn't quite exactly what we were thinking of, but she definitely took advantage of every piece of that. She was standing on second when that ball was thrown home. One pitch later. McKenna Gibson is retired. Three Lady Vols were retired on just one pitch apiece, but they're hitting 203 with a home run and four RBI, starting about half the games. Nice little snag, and Destiny from her backside able to make the throw. Showing off for bat in game one, flashing some leather here. Taylor Strain would be on deck. Grand testing Faw, her counterpart. Tennessee, one out away on it. Over the right side, that gets through. We are still playing softball on a Friday night here in Waco. There's the top of the order for Baylor coming up. With nice start to the season for her in the circle. And a delayed strike three called. Ball game. Tennessee is going to win the weekend series here in Waco. They've improved to three and O oh in Texas, and it's a run rule victory against their top 25 foe on the road. I mean that 9-1 loss right there does not is not indicative of the type of softball we saw tonight. Uh, just a close game in game one, losing a heartbreaker in the end here, and then Tennessee just finally pulling away here in that last inning, the five run uh, sixth inning, just put the nail in the coffin. This after they were down their final out, down by a run in that first game, but denied Baylor a win here on this opening day of the season. Baylor will have a chance to find that top 25 win, let alone against the number two team in the country tomorrow.